Most people are afraid of spiders because they don't really understand them. They can't tell in which direction a spider is going to go and going to jump and yeah, but if you kind of know the behavior of the spider, where it will go and what it will do um, after that and that, you kind of get a good feeling for the animal and you can more appreciate it. The thing with the spiders is I'm really fascinated by the behavior of them. Like even as a small boy, I was watching them hunt, watching them rap. In my childhood, I, I was always really fascinated by nature generally. I wasn't really like into playing video games and something like that. I was really into like going out in the nature, like finding spiders and collecting them. The advantage of living in a smaller village is that you have the animals in front of the doorstep, kind of you step out of the house and there are birds, there are snakes, there are lizards, there are spiders. My mother was really happy about my fascination, like she wasn't trying to, to change me in any way. She was happy that I was like this passionate little boy and she liked that I was really creative. I got my spiders from a lot of different sources. Like I have friends from all over Europe and we are trading offspring. Like if, he, if someone has breeding success, he's giving me like 10 little babies and I'm giving him one bigger one. And it evolved like that. And over time, of course, it accumulated a lot and eventually ended up with 128 spiders here. The eating process of spiders is a lot different than from other invertebrates or vertebrates. They don't eat like the meat parts of the animal, like the skin and everything, they don't eat that. They grab the prey, inject the venom. The venom has a digestive components and will really dissolve the prey. And now the wrapping comes into play, the spider wraps it up and all the internal stuff will be dissolved and the spider kind of drinks it up. In my hobby I also like to film the spiders and with that I'm really trying to show other people those little details they often oversee and with filming, with cutting, with color grading I'm able to show them that the true beauty and I, I managed to do that on social media and it, it's going really well. And a lot of people seeing this behavior for the first time in their life and they are really happy and they're commenting. After feeding the spider, there are usually the, the interesting part happens where you can film a lot. Generally, they, they move, wrap the prey up and that's the time where you get your camera, <laughs> sit down and film this. And you can also film the close-ups during that time and that's really fascinating. Mm -hmm.